updates from the global markets but how will all of these cues impact the Indian markets we have our research team joining in with our power prep segment with the trade setup the stocks that are likely to be in focus first up morning Ekta the, the nifty took a bit of a pause yesterday but the highlight was the fall in the weeks what are you picking up this morning Morning. Well, absolutely. Like you mentioned, you know, yesterday the Sensex Nifty did end the day in the green. So that was the larger headline. The markets gained for the third straight session. The India VIX, like you mentioned, slid 20%. It was the biggest fall that we've seen in five years, I think, since 2019. Now, interestingly, FII's net sold over 3,000 odd crores yesterday, but DII's have been putting their weight in, so they bought around 2,900 odd crores in yesterday's trading session in the cash market, and they bought close to 19,000 crores in the month of April itself. That's the DII's. Now, uh, in terms of the global setup, it seems to be quite firm because the UK FTSE hit another record high in yesterday's trading session. We have the US manufacturing activity which hit a four-month low, uh, came in at 49.9 in the month of March and that's fueled hopes of a rate cut um, in the US. So that's uh, probably, you know, worked in the, in the contrary and the US markets ended higher for the second straight session. We have Asia which is largely in the green, so Japanese, uh, the Japanese markets are leading in Asia right now. And the gift nifty is probably poised for a positive start. In terms of result reactions, we have 361, Tata, Lexi, Cyan, DLM, Tata Consumer, all of these stocks in focus. And in terms of results today, HUL, Axis, LTI, Mindtree, AU, Small Finance Bank, Equitas, Macrotech Developers, Sinjin, Dalmia Bharat are a couple of these stocks which we will keep on our radar in terms of results to watch out for. So it's going to be an interesting day, a lot of cues picking up when it comes to the earnings season. Interesting day and an earnings heavy day as well. Thanks a lot, Ekta, with all the cues that you need to watch out for this morning. Now over to Sudarshan, who would list out the stocks that you need to watch out for this morning. Good morning, Sudarshan. What do you have for us? Morning, Homa. So earnings flow is increased. So I'll talk about all those companies which have reported earnings first. So starting with Tata Consumers, it has reported mixed Q4 earnings. Revenue is at rupees 3,927 crore against poll of rupees 3,991 crore. EBITDA has come in at rupees 630 crore versus poll of rupees 601 crore. And this increase in EBITDA that you are seeing is it's because of sharp fall in inventory costs. India Beverages business revenue is up 3% versus estimate of 9 to 10% growth, and T volumes were flat versus expectation of 2 to 3 percent growth. ICC Prudential has reported mixed set of earnings. VNB margin sees a further decline due to shift in product mix. Margin has come in at 21.5 percent versus 32 percent year on year and versus 22.9 percent sequentially. But company says it will focus on actual VNB growth going forward. Next is MCX. It has reported an improved set of earnings sequentially. Sharp fall in software costs aids operating numbers. Software expenses are down 84% sequentially at rupees 23 crore. And because of that, EBITDA has come to rupees 102 crore versus EBITDA loss of rupees 20 crore sequentially. Tata Alexi, very weak earnings. Constant currency revenue is down 0.6% sequentially. And it's because of sharp fall in media and communication revenue, which contributes 33% to total revenue. Media and communication constant currency revenue is down 4% sequentially and 4.6% year on year. Nelco EBITDA has slipped 13% and margin has fallen 250 bips year on year. Scient, Profit is up 80%, revenue up 30%, margin is at 10.5% versus 11.5% year on year. Keep an eye on IFL Finance. Special audit has commenced as directed by RBI and this measure was part of RBI's supervisory action with respect to loan disbursement practices. Also keep an eye on Lupin and Dr. Reddy's because of the announcements they have made. Plenty of stocks to watch out for as always. Thanks a lot, Sudarshan, for joining in. And lastly, Nigel is here with the FNO cues this morning. Morning, Nigel. The VIX was a fall there. We didn't do much yesterday, but the bulls don't see any further challenge this morning. Well, that's right. You know, partly of, uh, you know, part of that fall that we saw in the final out of trade could be because of the Nifty Financial Services Index, which did play out the expiry. So that ended at the low point of the day. And there is some overlap. So that's why, in fact, the Nifty couldn't hold on to the gains that we had at around, say, around 2.30 p.m. We couldn't hold on to it at around 3.30 p.m. What do the FIs do yesterday? They've added mile long, mile short positioning. They continue to remain net short with 66% of their positions on the short side. And in absolute terms, it's around 108 lakh contracts odds. So that's the important figure out there. But as you mentioned, the VIX, you know, that collapsed in yesterday's trading session. Maybe, in fact, you know, we are setting ourselves up for a bit of a breakout. You know, last four months or so, we have been in this band of around 22,000, dollars and we're hovering around those levels. So there's a big drop that we're seeing out there. The street seems to be, uh, you know, getting uh, quite bullish now. 
The problem is, are we getting complacent? But part of the fall yesterday that we saw in the weeks could be because, you know, there were some of these out-of-the-money puts that were bought. Yesterday, they got unbound. You know, that was up for you on the screen. You have close to 45 lakh shares that got unbound on the put side. On the call side, though, that continues to see some bit of writing. So the 22,300, 22,400, 22,500 calls, well, they saw a fair bit of addition in trade. Which brings us to the levels. You know, we are in this band of around 350, 400 points. On the upside, 22,500, 22,550, that's the level that you need to cross. If you can get past that, then you're on your way to 23,000 odd. On the downside, you know, going by the options data and going by the technical level, I'm looking at the 50 DMA, 22,190. The Nifty Bank plays out expiry today, so those levels as well come up for you on the screen. Gift 50 suggesting a green start. You'll need to build on that. Back to you. Green start indeed. Thanks a lot, Nigel, for all the updates from the FNO space. But time for a short break here on Power Breakfast.